Hello, I'm Floyd Maxwell, JustThinkIt.com. This video is called Consequences of a Spring and Loop Theory, Unification. The great problem of today is how to subject all physical phenomena to dynamical laws. With all the experimental devices and all the mathematical appliances of this generation, the human mind has been baffled in its attempts to construct a universal science of physics. Joseph Lovering Question 1. What is unification? Question 2. Why isn't physics unified? In wise times, wise people are like massage therapists. What they say is soothing to our minds. In unwise times, wise people are an affront to us. What they say is an assault on our minds. Spring and loop theory. The mind likes a strange idea as little as the body likes a strange protein and resists it with similar energy. A new idea is the most quickly acting antigen known to science. If we watch ourselves honestly, we shall often find that we have begun to argue against a new idea even before it has been completely stated. Wilfred Trotter Temp Answers Answer 1. When most physicists think of unification, they think of the goal of explaining the four forces. The strong force, weak force, electromagnetic and gravity, with one concept. Answer 2. As to why isn't physics unified, the common answer is that relativity and quantum mechanics don't play well with each other, so they can't be unified. The Wright brothers flew right through the smokescreen of impossibility. Charles Franklin Kettering Question. How many religious people does it take to achieve peace in the Middle East? Answer. None. Current events. Why are Democrat and Republican views so far apart? because neither party is desirable. Neither of the two mainstream political parties is the right approach. Neither is trying to help us, the 99%. They are presented to us as the two viable choices when, in reality, they are the two worst possible choices. We are at our human finest, dancing with our minds when there are more choices than two. Sometimes there are 10, even 20 different ways to go, all but one bound to be wrong and the richness of the selection in such situations can lift us onto totally new ground. Lewis Thomas Stuck in Toosville Two styles of American luxury cars, Cadillac and Lincoln. Two choices in computers, IBM and Apple. Two preferences in coffee, Starbucks and good. Two common cell phones, Android and expensive. Two choices in American politics, hell number one and hell number two. And if you're lucky, two choices of internet provider. Every morning, you have two choices. Continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase them. Physics choices. Relativity and quantum mechanics are the two mainstream physics choices today. It doesn't matter that both are broken and neither works with the other. They persist and dominate because they shut out the competition, their purpose and intent. Mission accomplished. Question, what does it take for the 1% to control the 99%? Answer, just get the 99% to ponder the wrong questions. Spring and loop theory answers. So what is unification? Unification is a cake, a chorus, a car. Unification is Costco. Unification is many things working so well together that we stop thinking of them as individual things. Yummy, yummy unification. So unification is a sentence? No, unification is pizza. Unification is the first step if you want to make things. Unification is the last step if you want to make money. Caution, destruction of excuses in progress. Theories are made. They are not the result of experiments. We are not epoxy glued to theories. Not trapped with no way out. Unless we are really intent on making money and enjoy wearing a temp theorist costume. Traditional scientific method has always been, at the very best, 2020 hindsight. It's good for seeing where you've been. It's good for testing the truth of what you think you know, but it can't tell you where you ought to go. Robert Persig Turn back the hands of time. 100 years ago, scientists were superb at knowing where we ought to go. The problem was, they were superb at knowing where we ought to go. Scientists today are superb at knowing where the money will be. Temp theorists increase business by decreasing knowledge. 
It has taken a major lack of morals and ethics, and a lot of chutzpah, to do this, and we need to seriously tip our hats. Temp theories as role models. 100 years ago, physics was Godwind. Death charges placed, the ether was deep-sixed. Gold-backed currency was next, and planned obsolescence became the design ideal. Progress is a nice word, but change is its motivator, and change has its enemies. Robert F. Kennedy Defective by design. Today, unification is not achievable in musical chairs. By design. Unification is absent from modern movies. By design. Unification is missing from life today. By design. By the way, search Google Images for, quote, physics defective by design, quote. For any other word or phrase, Google returns hundreds of graphics. Nothing was returned for this phrase pairing. Physics defective by design is working as designed. The game of status seeking, organized around committees, is played in roughly the same fashion in Africa, America, and in the Soviet Union. Perhaps the aptitude for this game is a part of our genetic inheritance, like the aptitude for speech and for music. The game has had a profound consequence for science. In science, as in the quest for a village water supply, big projects bring enhanced status, small projects do not. In the competition for status, big projects usually win, whether or not they are scientifically justified. As the committees of academic professionals compete for power and influence, big science becomes more and more preponderant over small science. The large and fashionable squeezes out the small and unfashionable. The space shuttle squeezes out the modest and scientifically more useful expendable launcher. The great observatory squeezes out the explorer. The centralized, i.e. fluoridated, system squeezes out the village well. Freeman Dyson The real question. Do you want unification? Hmm, your head says one thing, but your heart says another. Let's test the strength of your want. The scientific enterprise is full of experts on specialist areas, but woefully short of people with a unified worldview. This state of affairs can only inhibit progress and could threaten political and financial support for research. Nature Journal Everything in life is unified. When you camp, your tent is unified. But so is your stove, your house, your toilet, your television and your computer, all unified. Some men have thousands of reasons why they cannot do something, when all they need is one reason why they can. Willis R. Whitney Learning from what works Cars, among the most elaborate of integrated systems, work ridiculously well. Why is that? Reason number one, they had to be compatible with horse-drawn buggies. Reason number two, they had to be affordable. Thanks, Henry Ford. Reason number three, they were dictated to. They were given no choice but to be comfortable, easy to start, safe, interesting, and even cool. Learning from what doesn't work. Fantasy cars have failed every time. Amphibious cars? None have measurable market share today. Movable headlights? Spiffy, but not available on Third Rock. Five, seven, or odd number wheeled cars? Not a chance. Three wheeled cars? Only when we no longer call them cars. Science itself is badly in need of integration and unification. The tendency is more and more the other way. Only the graduate student, poor beast of burden that he is, can be expected to know a little of each. As the number of physicists increases, each specialty becomes more self-sustaining and self-contained. Such balkanization carries physics, and indeed every science, further away from natural philosophy, which intellectually is the meaning and goal of science. Isidore Isaac Rabbi More seriously fail happy? Pretty much everything works, except things that benefit from not working. Compare the ruthless efficiency of the IRS to the we said we care but we lied because money is going out not coming in Department of Veterans Affairs. The progression of Microsoft Windows has ended at the doorstep of the NSA. When you have a completely corrupt system, you're going to want to encourage corrupt behavior. You're going to want to have slow or no justice. Floydcast number 41. Failure is success. Then there are temp theories. Got a failed experiment? Conclude that the ether doesn't exist. Bizarre religious theory doesn't explain the universe? Invent a new particle. 
Gravity not behaving itself? Give it a dark buddy and some pep pills. Practical sciences proceed by building up. Theoretical sciences by breaking into pieces. Thomas Aquinas. The ultimate force downgrades. Temp theories are more like video games. Costly, of limited utility and lifespan, and leading to addictive, i.e. dogmatic, behaviors. But what a great marketing idea. Put the con right up front. Physics theories aren't unified, never will be. Expectations get dropped to zero, and profits are maximized. Cancer's more research slogan has attracted moths to the flame for longer than Newton's F equals MA. The observer is not he who merely sees the thing which is before his eyes, but he who sees what parts the thing is composed of. To do this well is a rare talent. One person, from inattention or attending only in the wrong place, overlooks half of what he sees. Another sets down much more than he sees, confounding it with what he imagines, or with what he infers. Another takes note of the kind of all the circumstances, but being inexpert in estimating their degree, leaves the quantity of each vague and uncertain. Another sees indeed the whole, but makes such an awkward division of it into parts, throwing into one mass things which require to be separated, and separating others which might more conveniently be considered as one, that the result is much the same, sometimes even worse, than if no analysis had been attempted at all. John Stuart Mill If all mankind, minus one, were of one opinion, and only one person were of the contrary opinion, Mankind would be no more justified in silencing the one person than he would be justified in silencing mankind. John Stuart Mill Spring and Loop Theory's Turn Spring and Loop Theory is more like Meccano, Lego, or Minecraft. Lowest cost because of reusability and durability. Maximally useful because of basic building blocks. Creative for the same reason. And unified. Unity of plan everywhere lies hidden under the mask of diversity of structure. The complex is everywhere evolved out of the simple. Thomas Henry Huxley Weight loss brings back health. Spring and loop theory has put physics on a crash diet. The standard model's four forces are now two. String theory's ten or eleven dimensions back to three plus one. And particle physics dozens or hundreds of subatomic particles all negative results of fake experiments. Spring and loop theory says there's a single particle, the proton. The test of a theory is its ability to cope with all the relevant phenomena, not its a priori reasonableness. John Charlton Polkinghorne. The washboard road to thin. We live in majority meat-eating times. Wow. Cigarettes are still sold. Smoke if you got them. Election votes are cast on faith. Foolish. We need more green leafies, unadulterated water, and plenty of moderate exercise. To stay young requires unceasing cultivation of the ability to unlearn old falsehoods. Heinrich Hein. Unity. Spring and loop theory has shown that relativity and quantum mechanics can never be unified because both are wrong in their own way. And two wrongs never make a right. One resists the invasion of armies. One does not resist the invasion of ideas. Victor Hugo Speaking of religious wars, unifying Ireland and Northern Ireland is not about a peace process, but about the removal of an unnecessary border. Ultimately, temp theorists remain divided because the Nobel Prize money train never stops giving them free rides. Unification dies in a fire. In thinking of analogies for this talk, it was considerably more difficult to think of failed systems than working ones. And failed systems were always associated with greed and corruption. Physics was unified in etheric times. It took a racist world war to turn physicists on one side against those on the other. The history of semiconductor physics is not one of grand heroic theories, but of painstaking intelligent labor. Not strokes of genius producing lofty edifices, but great ingenuity and endless undulation of hope and despair. Not sweeping generalizations, but careful judgment of the border between perseverance and obstinacy. Ernest Braun The intelligent labor of spring and loop theory was most visible in the range of proven theories that had to be considered 
and too often discarded. Temp theories are a controlled confusion, a careful lie, sifting through temp theories and discarding impossibilities and nonsense without having an alternative was not at all easy. In time, spring and loop theory arrived at the only remaining possibility that matter lives in and modifies a pervasive ether, and that everything taught, researched, and publicly financed for the past 80 years has been a careful deception. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true. The other is to refuse to accept what is true. Soren Kierkegaard The day Aladdin died. The genie can't be put back in the bottle. The people in control are on a suicide mission. Everything is connected, and the unification of physics will remain a pipe dream as long as we condone the actions of the 1%. The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His work is like that of the planter, for the future. His duty is to lay the foundation for those who are to come and point the way. Nikola Tesla So what is unification? Unification is a lack of unsolved problems in physics. Unification is building stuff, not smashing stuff. Unification is having integrity instead of greed. Unification is spring and loop theory, a theory that simply doesn't break. The clever people at CERN are smashing particles together in the hope that Doctor Who will turn up and tell them to stop. Ben Aronovich the elegance of a theory is directly proportional to the number of independent ideas one can see in the theory and inversely proportional to the effort it takes to see them. Spring and Loop Theory Channeling George Polya Footnote For completeness, this is how Spring and Loop Theory unifies the four forces. The fool rushed to certain conclusions. The middling man approached them warily and with circumspection. The wise man, perceiving them from afar, decided to go round another way. T.W.H. Crossland The first step round another way was to see, as the physicists of old did, that there must be an ether. The ether is the source of electromagnetic effects. When bombarded atoms split apart, the atomic pieces, like energized balls in a ballroom, bounce off other balls. This is the so-called weak force. Spring loop theory says there is no strong force holding nucleons together. Instead, there is a strong pressure everywhere. Everything is a marble or bowling ball of vibrating energy within a universe of marbles. There is no need to hold anything together as everything is pushed together. Finally, spring loop theory described how gravity works in the original paper. In essence, mass or matter is one or more protons. Lower in energy than the ether, they dampen ether energy. As the ether is everywhere, reduced ether energy will be propagated everywhere. Gravity is not a distant pull, but a less pushy push. When you remove the profit motive, you can unify physics in 161 words. To learn is to incur surprise. I mean really learning, not just refreshing our memory or adding a new fact. To invent is to bestow surprise. I mean really inventing, not just innovating what others have done. John Leanhard. Unification, the ultimate prize and the ultimate surprise. One of the tests of a good theory is that the theory is simple. Here spring and loop theory has unified physics in 161 words, but it can even do better than that. Each step smaller shows an even better theory, an even more cohesive, fundamental and basic theory. Ultimately, spring and loop theory can unify the four forces with four words. Ether, bounces, pressure, dampening.